All right, laying out your bricks. So what I'm going to do is kind of, before I go into UVs, I'm going to make uh, a brick wall. Okay, so here's brick wall making 101. And I would say you got a brick. So the hardest thing about this is getting it to tile. And what I mean by tile is if I took this document right now, I don't, I know the size of the brick. I know this size, but will this tile over the course of the 1024? And I would say, no, it won't because, um, what is the odds of this document being equal to two bricks? Absolutely none. All right. So two bricks. If it was, if this document was bigger than two bricks, I can get it to tile very easy. So let's do this. Um, image canvas size, and let's go in here and add a few to this. Let's say pixels. So pixels we can change. The brick we can't. So if we make the canvas size 2048 by 2048, I now have the ability to put two bricks down. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this brick and I'm going to duplicate this brick. And I'm going to pseudo line them up. And also, I'm going to pseudo put them down here. Now I have auto select on, that makes the life easier. So that way you can hold shift and you can go like this and hold shift and you can highlight both of them. So you can move bricks around very quickly that way. All right, so now I got two bricks. Two bricks make four bricks. And you can see what my method of two bricks are now because two bricks like that So now I have to think even bigger because now I have to think three bricks. <laughs> so let's add some more canvas size. Okay, can we get three bricks in there? Yes. <laughs> and pretty soon we're going to have this huge resolution map. Don't worry, we'll tone this down quite a bit here in a second. All right, so there we go. We got three bricks on top, two bricks, and I know I know using math that if I take this brick and I put it over here and I take a brick and put it over here When I go in here and split this brick in half, it'll make one half a brick and one half a brick on the other side. So to kind of wean down my little world, what I'm going to do is do something like this. There we go. Okay, all on the keyboard will duplicate bricks very easy so I can hold shift and highlight a bunch of bricks hold alt click and drag up and I can kind of make this document it's not going to be so perfect because I don't really want to concentrate on making this too much so if I highlight all these hold alt This group, hold Alt. I'm just doing that over and over. Hold Alt. You can hold Shift too, and that helps a little bit. Looks like we've got a stubborn brick there. 
Okay, so my original document size was what? 1024 by 1024. So I make my marquee selection 1024 by 1024. And this is my original texture size right here. How am I going to get it to that? Well, the question you have to ask yourself is, how stringent are you going to be about brick size? And in this case, I'm not going to be that stringent. I like the fact that these are bricks. They are nicely laid out but I need a square and that's going to work. Because remember, there's all sides, types of brick sizes. If a person is so lame to run into your video game and measure your brick size corresponding to pixels on their screen, they should get a life. Very fast. Okay, so holding shift, I can make a square. And I'm going to go image, crop. And now what I'm going to do is take this whole concept and go layer, merge layers. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to stretch it a little bit. These all should be layered. Let's go in layer. Highlight all these. Good. And now quickly, because I'm running out of time, I'm just going to stretch this up just a little bit. I'm going to stretch this down a little bit. I'm going to stretch this over a little bit. And I'm going to stretch this over a little bit. Okay. And there we go. Tileable brick. All right. Next video, I'll handle some more.